All right, fellas, check it out. Um, all right. Okay, here we go. Um, in this video, there is some seriously fucked up lag that happens, and my brother is the victim. Uh, that's me with the rocket launcher about to kill that elite by that doorway, and then there's my brother in the back right there. And I think my brother has a shotgun. And, uh, what, what does he have? I can't fucking remember. He's got a Spartan laser and the shotgun. A really stupid-ass combo, if you ask me, but hey, that's my brother for you, right? He's goofy. So, anyway, watch this flag. I'll play everything in slow motion, and then I'll play the video again in real time so you can actually see how fucked up and not right everything feels and looks. So check it out. In slow-mo, this elite is trying to roll through that doorway to escape my rocket launcher. And see, he just kind of blipped over real quick. Anyway, um, yeah, so busted his ass real good right there with the uh, rockets. Then there's this guy. Um, he's invis, and he starts shooting. Oh, wait, no, he's not invis. I'm sorry. He's just right there. And he starts shooting needles. And uh, I guess he's going for my bro. My brother goes in. My bro. My brother goes into armor lock. And so I move in to take him out with the rockets. But it's fucking laggy. And I'm sucking ass. But I managed to get him. And then this is where it gets weird. Alright, so if you ever play Invasion Slayer, you would know that the elites can only spawn on their battle buddies or in one. Two, three, and four spawn locations on the sides of the map over here against this canyon wall. Those are the only places they can pop, at, pop up at. God, I can't talk. Anyway, uh, those are the only four areas that they're allowed to pop up at. And uh, if, they, if there's a teammate in the area, they're allowed to spawn on their teammate. Well, I guess it was so laggy, the game allowed him to spawn on his dead teammate. Watch what happens. What the fuck, right? How, why is he here? Why did he just pop up right there? So anyway, my brother is walking by, and my brother uh, picks up the needle rifle, and now he's blipped over here. He was there, and then in the blink of an eye, he's over here. And so me and my brother and him are... My brother and this guy are fighting, and my bro goes into armor lock, and then my bro comes out of armor lock. I sniped him in the ass, hurt him, and since I suck, I fucking missed it with a second shot because he fucking teleported it out of the way. And then he smacks my brother and removes my brother's shield, but also <sighs> kills my brother instantly with one melee. I don't even know what that was. I can't explain that one. Here it is in real time. Fucking asshole. So, I don't... I don't know. One minute remaining. That was, uh, some wacky shit. And then, of course, we just spawn rape the shit out of him once the lag lets it up. Yep, pretty gay lag. Not bad, but man oh man was that some shitty fucking lag, Jesus, some weird shit man. Alright, so in this video, uh, uh, yeah, I ran into this retard, um, yeah, I was listening to some music on YouTube, I was listening to some Link to the Past uh, soundtrack from uh, Super Nintendo's uh, Link to the Past. Great game, one of the best games ever made. Uh, listening to some of that music, and in the comments section, there were some people arguing that Ocarina of Time is a better game than Link to the Past. And, you know, I, I try to be the voice of reason, so I stepped in there and I was all like, I, I think I, I like Ocarina of Time more personally, but both of them are really good. So, you know, it's hard to say which one's better, really. I mean, they're both so good that it kind of just comes down to personal taste. It's not like one's dog shit and the other is way better. You can't really, you know what I mean? When two games are both really good and very similar, then, eh, you know, like, can't really say for a fact which one is better. 
you can you can argue all you want, but you really can't get away with uh, proving which one's better. You know, like that's pointless. Um, but uh, there's some dickhead arguing that Link to the Past is a much better game. Blah blah blah, and his reasoning was really stupid. And we were arguing and stuff like that. And uh, this guy said to me that the music in Link to the Past is way better than the music in Ocarina of Time. And I was like, what? <laughs> Like, both have good good uh, musical themes, I'm not going to lie, but Ocarina of Time, that's like the game that people think of when they think about video game music. You know, like, Ocarina of Time, the Ocarina, all the themes you play on the Ocarina. That game's got a ton of music. And this guy, he says to me, uh, I only remember, like, two or three songs from Ocarina of Time. The only reason I played that game is I just wanted to see what all the fuss was about. Everybody kept saying it was great, but I didn't get it. I was like, wait a minute, okay, so the only reason you played it is because other people were saying that it was good? Well, that right there already proves that you weren't too interested in the game in the first place. Uh, he was telling me that he's against 3D games, he's more of a 2D gamer or something like that, so whatever, fine. But... He said that he could only remember the uh, Lon Lon Ranch theme and, like, some other song in the game, and that's it. It's like, what? That's all you could remember from the fucking game? Like, what about the what about the Zora Domain theme song? That's fucking memorable as shit. What about the Cockery fucking um, Lost Woods theme song? That's memorable as fuck. What about, uh... Uh, what about the windmill song? Fucking making it rain and shit. That's super memorable. What about the overworld uh, Hyrule uh, field uh, theme? You know, that one's really good. Uh, what about, um, uh, what was it? Uh, fucking, um, uh, shit. The, the, the fucking, uh, what do you call it? The, th the theme shop music, you know? that That is stuck in my head. Like, <laughs> whenever I go into a store, I, I feel like that song could be playing in the background, you know? Crazy. Um, shit, I'm trying to think of some other really memorable tunes from Ocarina of Time. I need to play that game again. Game's fucking badass. A lot of the dungeon themes are pretty fucking sick in that game, like uh, the Forest Temple and uh, the uh, Water Temple, everyone's favorite temple. Yeah, uh, the battle music is pretty badass. Um, there's a lot of short tunes in the game that are always very memorable. You know, like opening a treasure chest or capturing the uh, horse for the first time. You know, shit like that. Yeah, the music in that game is really memorable. I don't know what he's talking about. And, of, and uh, of course, most of all is the Gerudo Valley theme song. That's probably the best song in the fucking game. So, like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Did you even play the game? Why can't you, uh, fucking... Why aren't these songs sitting in your head? I don't get it. It's a weird guy. Anyway, I, I, I gave him shit about that. I was like, yo, dude, the fucking music is really memorable. I don't know what you're talking about. And I listed all those songs, you know, and all those themes. And, uh... Um, I, I, oh, yeah, I mentioned the title theme of, of Ocarina of Time. You know, at the title, press start to play, and they, they show the fucking moon uh, going away and the sun coming up and Link's riding up on the horse and you hear the trotting, and then the piano starts, and it just sort of sucks you in. And that's like one of the greatest video game intros and themes ever. It was fucking awesome. I remember when I first experienced that shit, I uh, fucking shit my pants, basically. I was fucking like, wow. I already know that this is going to be one of the best things I've ever done in my life, is to play this game. You know, that, that was fucking nuts. And uh, that, that is a great theme. Everybody loves that theme. And it's called the title theme. And I was just like, the title theme is really memorable. And this guy I'm talking to, he says to me, that doesn't count. The title theme music from Link to the Past is the same as Ocarina of Time. And then I had to correct him, and I was like, no, dumbass, you're thinking about the file select name. The, the file select theme. You jackass. I'm talking about the title. Uh, anyway, 
So after that, I was just like, blah, 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 blah. I'm talking to a retard. I'm wasting my time here. So, yeah, I just thought that was funny. But, you know, those people really need to take it easy, those kinds of people that are always constantly arguing, which one is better, this one or this other one? Yeah. Like, if they're both really bad, who fucking cares which one's better? And if they're both really good, who fucking cares which one's better? They're both good, they're both bad, whatever, you know? There has to be a significant fucking difference in quality for this argument to have any uh, validation. Like, seriously, like, uh, what's worse, that, that pile of dog shit or that puddle of piss, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> both of them are fucking awful, you know? Like, whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, that wraps up this video.